Hey, welcome back to another Sherman's Valley Outdoor video. Hey, I got something exciting for you people here today. I want to show you how, 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 to, how to do some things with some turtles. We have to actually get a live turtle. So what I want to do, try to do here today is, I did put a cage out here into Sherman's Creek. It's bouncing around and usually when it's bouncing around like that, there's usually something inside these cages. And we're going to get this thing. And if I got a turtle in it, uh, I promise you when we get back to the house, I want to show you something that's never been made, to my knowledge, never been made. If you like taxidermy work and you want to try to get a turtle, if you ever went and get a, get a price for a freeze dried turtle, I, I got news for you. It's expensive. And I'll tell you one thing, I hate expensive. I'm, a, I'm about as cheap as they get. That's my family. Uh, we have to first get a turtle. Uh, just stay tuned and we'll see what we got. Hey everybody, <laughs> one thing about it, no turtle shortage. Now we gotta figure out how to get them over that bank. Got it. All right. <laughs> There's at least three snapping turtles in here. Uh, I can't, I'm, a, I'm really excited about showing you guys what you can actually make with these. If you guys that have a man cave or even women, some of you, some of you might want these. These are pretty neat. You can hang them on the wall. I know what you're thinking. A snapping turtle on the wall? Are you crazy? Well, uh, hey. Uh, hey. Put hey. Your... hey. What? Hey. Hey. He's... Gotta watch them little burgers. Sometimes, you get me my age, you forget what you're doing, you can lose a finger. <laughs> Those are new ones. Yeah, they are. Hello. Hello, little guys. All right, we just got here. We got what is it, four or five, four or five snapping turtles in here. But problem is with them, they're just little guys. All right. So here this one is. We're gonna put him back in the water. You guys can get a good look at him as he swims away. See if he goes. There he goes. Everybody said, "Oh, these are so cute," but yet the little buggers are so vicious. <laughs> See what he does. Oh, it's a standoff. Here, this one ain't near as aggressive. Like, well, I'm a turtle and that's all I am. It's just a turtle. <laughs> Anyhow. Wham! <laughs> all right, little guy. Okay. There, now you're live in the hole. Now we can go. See, now this guy here, he's a little more, see, he's got a little bit more, he got gr moss growing on the back of, that's what I like about shells. There's so many different kinds of shells, different colors, different, different designs. I don't want to keep stuff that's real little like that. I mean, he going look how smooth his shell is. He's got a smooth shell. You usually pet him in the head and you can. <laughs> yeah, can you get it, get it, get it, get it. Don't try, kids, don't try this at home. I know there's probably young ones out there watching this. Don't try this. Look at him, the way he's bending his head. Oh, boy, if I could just get a hold of you. Hey, now this is going to, here, I, when I, remember I was over at the creek, I said it was, uh, we were going to make something, if we caught some turtles, that uh, we were going to do something a little bit different. Well, guess what? We did catch some turtles. And again, I don't know how many of you are cheap like me. The areas that I like to be cheap in is taxidermy. This is called the European mount. I mean, my goodness, this here costs you virtually nothing. But this is the area I'm not really going to talk about. I just want to do ta snapping turtles. Uh, I have discovered a way that for those of you who want to mount a snapping turtle, if you ever had a desire, how many, let me see your hands, show your hands how many wants to mount a snapping turtle. Oh, okay, I can't even see your hands. I got a really relatively cheap way of doing it. Uh, I think you'll like it. I have I actually have three of my biggest turtles that, I, that I've taken in, in my career so far. There's two hanging in the kitchen and um, one hanging in the living room. And I know what you're thinking. In the kitchen? Well, yeah, I, yeah, somehow or another, I, I just told my wife, I don't know about you other guys, I just told my wife, this is what I'm doing. And she didn't really have any say in it. Actually, that ain't true because she would have a lot of say in it. But anyhow, for 
for you viewers out there, the number one part about the turtle is, obviously, is the meat. Don't forget about the meat. Don't forget the crack. <laughs> okay, the first thing we do with the, with these turtles is, is we'd have to get one out of the out of the tub. What I like to do is, like, I shoot that turtle like right here in the back of the head with a 22 short, cut the head off, and then I would literally butcher that turtle from the underside, skin him, and get all the meat out from inside of that, and then I let the plate on the bottom so that I can attach well what I'm going to be showing you here. And I like to take the shell, which is here, like this shell here, and once it's just a shell. I like to take it back here. I actually have a 28 by 40 shed that, that has room underneath it. And I slide these turtles underneath that shed. And then when I do that, then I actually uh, am able to let the flies take care of, of everything else that's, uh, that, that eats all the rest of the meat and stuff out of the, uh, the flesh off of the turtle shell. It should look something, after about two weeks of being uh, underneath, you don't want it out in direct sunlight because if you have it out in direct sunlight, then these, these scale, each section of these scales can pop off and it, it, yeah, it won't be a nice looking shell. And then once it gets to this point, then what I like to do is I use a pair of uh, snips like this and then I, I start snipping in here at the vertebrae and I clean all this out of here. Any loose pieces of meat or, or, or dried skin or anything that's in there, I, I, I pull it off with a pair of pliers. Anything I can do to clean, to clean to get it the, as clean as you can. Then I like to get some borax and I like to have enough borax in a tub where you can put the whole, where you can fill this up with borax in here and just let that in borax like for a week. It should start looking a little bit like this. Now this is still a little bit dirty because it's been laying around a while. But after it's been in the borax and the borax and everything's all cleaned out, I like to take a white paint, paint this all in the inside. There's no bugs gonna be in here whatsoever. And another thing about these shells is there's different shapes, different sizes, different colors. It's amazing. Turtles fascinate me. I, I can't explain why, but they do. But these turtles you've seen in the tub, after I killed those turtles, I would lay him out on a piece of cardboard and I would trace the silhouette of that turtle onto a cardboard. Now this is a smaller turtle. I got different sizes of patterns for turtles. You cut this out in here for a reason. This would be the, the shell would normally come around like this, but I cut this out for a reason and I'll show you. It gets traced onto a old piece of barn tin, which it would be like this, okay? Once it gets traced out, I use 10 snips and then it comes to this, okay? I was able to fold these front legs back that I could slide that tin up underneath there and then you're able, you, you should be able to push that thing down like that into the shell and then I usually take a measurement. If you look up here close, once this is down, you get a tape measure, say this is like an inch and a half gap in here. Well, I, take, I would take an inch and a half block, slide into here and I'm able to screw, then I would bring this tin back out of the shell, screw the block on, onto the tin, slide it, the, the block and the, and, the, and, the, and the tin back up underneath here, and then run a screw through the bottom of the plate here, and it holds that thing in place. So then we can have turtles that looks like these. If you look at underneath, you'll see the block inside. You probably can see the block in there that I have. But you could put these on logs, people. You can put these, hang these. I actually have these drilled. There's a hole in the tail part where you can hang them on the wall. And like I said, I have them. Like I said, there's no bugs in them whatsoever. So, and I've had these hanging in my shed now for, I'll bet you seven, eight, maybe years already. I clean the shells up really nice. I polyurethane the shells. And this is what you're looking like. So when you're carrying these down the road, then it actually looks like you actually got live turtles. Is I have searched the internet high and low. You can find nothing on the internet like these at all. Okay, in Pennsylvania, we have strict law. You have to have a, a permit 
first of all, to sell a turtle in, in Pennsylvania. In order for me to sell these, I have to have uh, uh, that permit, plus then that turtle has to be caught in the same license year for me to sell that turtle. If you do not want to try these yourself, and you know, and, I, and I'll be really reasonable in a price, I can actually make these for, for, for people as long as I'm not the ones trapping the turtles. If you have a valid PA fishing license, I can make, and you get a snapping turtle, I can actually make these for you, but they have to be cut, uh, it has to be coming from you. The turtle has to be from you to me, not from me to you. How many of you guys out there like fishing? <laughs> I'll bet you a lot of you. How many of you wanna pay $20 an inch for a daggum fish you caught? That's right, that's what I thought. That eats up the pocketbook, and guess what? Your wife probably don't like it either. How would you like to take those same fish that you caught, trace them off onto cardboard, same inches and everything. Yeah, they're done with barn tin, but guess what? It's a cheap way of doing fish, and it looks just as nice. This is cedar, and guess what? Storm clouds are rolling. It might actually, actually, and I'll show you another one. This is with a smallmouth bass and two uh, sunfish. Let me show you a yellow perch. And here's another one was done with white perch. So there again, if you, something a little bit different, you just gotta use your brain a little bit when it comes to this kind of stuff. Something that sometimes I didn't even know I had. So, but a anyway, brain? a brain, no, not a train, a brain. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay. So anyhow, with that being said, uh, I'd like to end this video and for now, and uh, my daughter says she's hot and, and I don't mean hot like hot, hot. She's just hot, <laughs> like from the sun hot. That's. Yeah, so there, that was my wife. Every now and then she chimed out, now that one is hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, settle down over here. I'll make you uh, geese over here. So that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy, enjoyed it. If you, <laughs> anyhow, if you guys, if you want to subscribe to me, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> if you have any questions about the turtles, just l let me know on YouTube. Or let me know on my channel. Leave a comment down below. Wherever, which I'm pointing down in the grass, so I don't know when I'll ever see that.